Hey folks, how are you all doing? I know I've been very busy and with uh, reviews I've been popping one after another and uh, two of my brothers, Rob Huif and Brother Sentinel channel, you know him, two of the awesome reviewers. So they tell me I am a workhorse, I'm a machine, <laughs> that I am. Sometimes I do feel like that. So here I'm going to talk about very, I'll try to keep it shorter than usual, which I always say, but I never do. But I'm going to talk about one hidden gem and I couldn't resist it. I actually have this for sale. I'm selling this. I have quite a few bottles. If you need, you guys can ask. So I really felt this actually baby, this baby, let me show you the bottle. This is Hugo Boss Unlimited. All right. This is a flanker of the original Hugo Boss bottle. This is the father of all. See if, see if you say grandfather, this is the grandfather of all. This is the best seller. And I'll tell you everything. All right. I'll show you the presentation, the smell, everything. But reason for me to do this review. First of all, I always wanted this bottle in my collection. This is like an angel. Whole bottle is white. If you know Ferrari's, I think, Essence Musk, that one is also white bottle, but not as pretty as this. So that's another reason why I wanted this first reason. Second reason is I wanted to review it because I've been seeing review from, I think, a couple of reviewers, you know, like, uh, I'm not quite sure. Chad, he really loves this scent, but I'm not sure if he's getting enough support from his mates because they're like, hey, it's all right. Hey, it's okay. You know, it's nothing. Ah, it's mind, not mind blowing, blah, blah. So I can see he liking it, but um, there's another reviewer. I cannot quite think of the lady female reviewer from UK. All right. So uh, I'll put her link down, her review. That's where I saw this fragrance first. So I was very always intrigued because this has pineapple note in it. All right. So I'll tell you everything about you need to know about this fragrance. And I really wanted to keep this in my collection. So I opened one from my sales <laughs> uh, collection. Right. So I'm going to be using this for myself. I'll decant it as well as I'll sell the full bottle. All right, so one by one, everything. I'll tell you everything you need to know about this fragrance, but you need to know this is a beautiful fragrance, all right? This is being overlooked for God knows what reason, all right? What I can think of is this Hugo Boss house. People think, ah, eh, Hugo Boss, eh, eh, you know? Not cool, guys, not cool. Lacoste, Hugo Boss, they always have some hidden gems. So first of all, I want to show off, not show off, I want to show you the originator of this. This Hugo Boss bottle, this used to be my bottle. My dad, he uses this as his office scent and signature scent and he sparingly used this, you know, he uses a lot of it. I gave him a full bottle and I thought like he would appreciate it more. This is classic. This one sells most number of bottles still, doesn't get any discount. In Malaysia, this is still going for almost $100 per 100 ml, all right? So this is a classic and bestseller. So this line, it had, they have quite a few flankers. Night, Hugo Boss bottle, Night, Hugo Boss bottle, uh, there's Intense. There's, I believe there's one sport and then I think there's one more. I'm not quite sure. I forgot the name. And this is the last one that as far as I remember or the intense was the last one. I'm not quite sure. So this is the beauty from this line. And this is totally different from the original. There is hardly any similarity between that, this and this apart from the bottle shape. All right. So you can see exact same bottle shape. Just the color is all white. I'll show you the bottle soon. Let me show you the packaging. This one is little bit confusing for some people because most of you who you know pass by the mall they see there's a green like a band here you know like green line here so this one is whole white as you can see only the bottle unlimited is written in green right so this is the new box design all right apart from this the everything else in the bottle everything is same so this is the new box so you take a look white white at the back very beautifully done i love this this is what is nice all the notes Enlisted, so you don't have to go to Fragrantica. This is made in UK, EDT, 100 ml concentration. And there's a small, uh, sorry, 100 ml size, what concentration? EDT concentration, 100 ml. And you can find a smaller bottle, I think. I haven't seen it in Bangladesh. Side also white. Bottom, if you look for a batch code, it's in the center. Very tiny little here. You can see, right? And then other stuff. So yeah, very beautiful, nice looking white. And the bottle is a thing of a beauty. This is what I wanted. I wanted this white bottle because I collect for the bottle design as well, you must have seen. It has a boss written big engraved in it. It says Hugo Boss Unlimited in green. And the whole bottle I perform that is white. Okay, milky white. Bottom there's a hole, I don't know for what reason. There's a sticker. And the cap sits securely, you can pick it up, very secure. It's not magnetic, but secure. Take it off, you can see the original and fake, you will be able to notice, inside is green. If you see a fake one, that would be likely white or some other color, I'm not quite sure. Or black the original one always have green and then the sprayer works really amazing I have the dry down here I'm gonna 
yeah the dry down is here i'm going to show you the sprayer all right you can see all right so the sprayer it's a seven out of ten not mind-blowing all right but it shoots a lot of juice oh opening top note is all right so for the presentation this is 10 out of 10 because this is angel for me this is like you are my angel <laughs> all right so yes let's talk about this bottle this fragrance all right didn't get so much love not many people talked about it people just passed on it i think uh just uh just give me one second yeah sorry about that guys because i wanted to just remember the reviewer's name because it's not fair that i talk about this fragrance without mentioning her name her name is waha sawas all right w-a-h-a-s-a-w-a-s one of my favorite reviewers in the female uh, side and she is a very good nose all right she often talks very very honestly and i really love her honesty in the reviews she talked about it first then chad did and i think there's also jensen's who talked about this so this fragrance didn't get so much coverage all right and given from a line of hugo boss people just pass on it it's just not fair i have to talk about it because hugo boss line this line the bottle line this is my one of my favorite lines this is a classic this fragrance is a masterpiece all right 100 years from now people remember this fragrance all right i am pretty sure to be selling in i don't know 100 years i'm not sure 50 years definitely so this fragrance why did it get like not noticed first of all i think people who are living majority in the winter countries they don't get so much of summer and they're looking for a beast mode fragrance this is not their cup of tea and that's the reason they thought like this is like kind of bland and this smells like thousand other colognes out there does it so what does it smell like so in the box, if you really see the box, I'll tell you the notes. I don't have to go to Fragrantica. This has notes of, top notes are iced violet leaves. Heart notes are pineapple. Base notes are sandalwood and musk. All right. So what do I get from it? This fragrance, the moment you spray this on, very, very beautiful fruity opening. Very, very beautiful. And there's some sort of very pleasant fruity. And the thing is, this is pineapple. And it feels like iced mint. There's a mint up top. I just detect it because... You know, similar to this, pure energy is somewhat, this fragrance is somewhat has that mint cooling effect, which has, which is in this one. But this fragrance is much more potent fragrance, all right? So, but the same, they're both summer fragrances. That's the first thing. And then you get like very lovable, very, very lovable opening. This one, you cannot miss it. The opening is so lovely. It's not very loud, but it's, it's like dear scent, you know, it's like so loving, all right? So the fruity icy minty opening right so their uh, violet leaves i don't get violet so much because violet leaves it smells different in other fragrances so mint and sort of like a pineapple opening all right then after 15 minutes or so your dry down will come dry down will come very very fast you're not gonna get your top note for a very long time all right and the dry down remains very sort of like a pleasant fruity that pineapple is there but now it's a little bit more powdery like not as powdery as lamal i talked about lamal Lamal is powdery, vanilla, lavender. So this one doesn't have that so much powderiness. Just a tad bit of powderiness. It feels a little powdery. Like Midnight in Paris, toned down. 50% of Midnight in Paris, all right? So that's sort of a powderiness. Mixes with the pineapple. And I believe there's some other fruit in it. I cannot detect what it is. It's some sort of a pineapple, maybe grapefruit. Yes, that sort of combination. Because this type of fragrances, that's what they do. And then the musk. That's what the musk is like, the milky vibe, the sweetness. That's when the musk starts taking over. And the mead, there's no sandalwood in the base. No, I don't get any sandalwood or even what else. Yes, musk I do get. So the notes breakdown would be, you're starting with uh, the fruity uh, pineapple with the mint. Center is definite musk and some sort of grapefruit. And that's your fragrance. So longevity from this, it's it's... People say it's very poor, which is not fair. I tried this on. This is an indoor scent. This is not an outdoorsy scent. If in the for the summer, very hot countries, it's not gonna last outdoors. But if you stay indoors, office, work, you're going for dates, all right, and your close encounters. This is one of the best scents, and this is definitely unisex. I can so see ladies loving this, and I have something that smells like this. Arm of Hunter. You have seen my review on it, and I decant this stuff, and I did say this and this one is a performance, all right. So difference between these two is this is much better performer than this. That is the truth even until today. This one lasts on your skin for 6-7 hours. Alright, in Bangladesh condition. This one you'll get 3 hours. And then after 3 hours it will be very faint skin scent. Alright, 
So why buy this? This is a bit more pricey than this. This one actually is almost close to or more than this, like double, double the price. So why? First of all, the blend, the smell you get from this, it's better than this. All right. Arm of Hunter, the smell you get at first, it's a little bit cheap. When you smell it first, people think it's a cheap cologne. That's what I thought first. But when you smell this right in front, like you spray this on your skin, right? It smells very, very pricey. It smells up class and it smells for, even for summer freshy. It, it smells like quality, not as synthetic or uh, cheaply made as this. But on the dry down, these two are very, very similar. So take note, guys. If you want a cheaper alternative of this, go with Arm of Hunter. That is the honest truth. But what you get is a very fugly bottle. I talk about it. I'm not a very big fan of this bottle. But juice-wise, blend is better in this. Definitely blend is better, a bit more smoother, very, very up-class and very good. I think if you're not summer, spring, autumn, fall, that sort of season, this one will shine. If you're just casually putting this, how many sprays? You go one, two. You can shower in this. No one's going to be offended. All right. You cannot be choking people with this fragrance. So this fragrance, who, which age? I feel this is youthful, very, very youthful. If you are in school, if you are into um, sports, gym after gym scent, this is ideal for that. If you are a cheerleader, girl, you can wear this. Young girls will love wearing this on a breezy day. You know, imagine like birds flying, the usual, you know, the, the windy days of spring and stuff. This is a beautiful scent. If too much heat, if not too much heat, if it's not too hot, this is going to perform nicely. You can wear this also in the colder weather. If you're just going to bed, you're going to be cuddling with your girlfriend or wife. This is the scent. This, ladies love this. Guys need to know this kind of fragrance. Ladies love it. If you love Aventus, if you love La Nuit de L'Homme, Midnight in Paris, if you do love Lacoste L1212, clean, fruity, uh, like a very romantic sort of scent, casual, this is it. This is the best encounter scent. I mean like close encounter scent, one of the best anyway, without choking people out. Wearing this, you can choke people out because this is very strong. Hunter. So this is for outdoors. Think of this. This is for indoors, office, casual. And the dry down, you can. You always want to smell it. All right? It will project not beastly. This is within an arm's length. People come close to you, hug you, give you a kiss. They will notice it. So definitely make sure you get some here, here, on your chest, some on your clothes. Go heavy. Seven to eight sprays. Yes, I did say that. And the thing is, if you're a collector, this bottle looks kick-ass. This looks so nice in your collection. Trust me. Just look at this. How pretty this looks. Sits. So if you're a collector, you cannot go wrong. So you definitely get bang for your buck. And if you're looking for projection and longevity monster, beast, I suggest you go with this. Arm of Hunter. Cheaper alternative, but smell-wise, let me smell it. Yeah, it, it's, it's a bit strong. It's very strong and potent. You know, it doesn't have the powdery effects quite. It's just fruity all the way. No musk in this. This one is more like a cedar dry down in the end. This one is a little bit musky, which makes it very, very romantic scent. So for fall, uh, your cool summer days, daytime definitely, playing tennis, golf. I mean, not golf. Golf is outdoor sport. Where else? Um, definitely, there is another one. Rainy days, perfect scent. So Hugo Boss bottled, is it is it perfect 10 like this? Definitely not. This is not a perfect 10, but this is very high. Why? Because the smell, I'll give this perfect 10 out of 10. This is smell, you cannot beat it. You'll smell so pleasant, so beautiful to be around. And imagine this. This is toned down version of Ultramol. I'll say it, all right? Because Ultramol has a tonka bean, fruitiness, pineapple. It has the powdery vanilla. So maybe one fifth of Ultramol is Hugo Boss Unlimited. That's where it shines. So if you don't like it, a loud banger, look for Unlimited. Very beautiful scent. Very underrated. Flew under the radar for many people. Give it a chance, guys. Go to the mall. Give it a try. All right. If you want to try the decan, ask me in Bangladesh. I'll send it to you. All right. So that's my review for Hugo Boss Bottled Unlimited. Score for this, 9 out of 10 overall. All right. This is definitely one fragrance worthy looking at and not anything to do with Hugo Boss Bottle except the bottle design. All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for viewing. And I'm sorry if you're getting bothered by too many reviews, but I am on steroids, I guess. Take care, guys. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.